Krista, thanks for coming and talking to us today. We have been getting a lot of questions about credit scores. So basically give us a rundown. What credit score company for say do you use? So right now we go through Kroll factual data for our credit bureaus at State Street Bank. And they use FICO stores, scores, which is their Isaac company. I know there's a lot of individuals that come into our office that use Credit Karma. And I know today we're getting together to kind of determine what the difference is between Credit Karma, whether it's accurate with the lend lenders and what they're using. And we have found that it's, tech it's really not as accurate as the scores that we use. I say it's not as accurate. It's, it's what they're using, Credit Karma, their company that they go through. And they actually use two different bureaus, TransUnion and I believe Experian. And we use all three bureaus. We go through and, and when we pull credit, we call it a tri-merge. We use TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. And then when we go to score for a mortgage loan, we are pricing the loans based on the middle score. And that's how we determine whether or not you're eligible and what products you're eligible for. So basically that's the difference as far as what we use at a bank or a lending financial institution and what Credit Karma is. Can you tell us, do you do a hard pull or a soft pull and what's the difference between the two and how does that affect your score? So basically when you apply for a mortgage loan, that is what we call a hard pull. We're using again, those scores to determine your eligibility for that mortgage loan. A soft pull is when you, like if you receive a credit card offer in the mail, those agencies are doing soft pulls just to see if you could pre-qualify for a type of loan or credit card. Uh, a lot of times a mortgage company will do a soft pull right before closing just to determine whether or not you've opened up any new accounts. And the hard pull is shown as an inquiry on your credit and a soft pull is not. Is it the same thing if you are shopping for a mortgage and you're shopping rates and you go to three different banks and they all do a hard pull on your credit report that doesn't affect you as negatively as if you were to go purchase a vehicle and a vehicle does a hard pull correct correct so if you're applying for a mortgage loan and you're shopping around to check rates maybe closing costs just to determine you know what the best deal is for you so if you are shopping for a mortgage, you're shopping for rates, closing costs that, you maybe apply at three different mortgage companies. Usually if it's within 45 days of each other, then it is not going to affect your credit. You'll still see those hard pulls or those inquiries, but it should not affect your credit score as long as it's the same type of loan that you're applying for. For example, a home loan or mortgage loan. Now, um, whenever you are using the middle score from the three different bureaus, if a buyer fell short, do you have a program or anything that you do to advise them on how to get that score up and maybe how long it might take them to get their score up? So if we have a borrower that comes in that applies for a mortgage loan and let's say their scores are pretty low and we can approve them, then at that time, we would definitely counsel them on what they can do to improve their score. It may be, you know, maybe they need, need to pay down some of their credit card debt. And so they can free up their credit. So when, when credit agencies are determining, you know, when they're looking at your scores, that's one of the things that they're rating you on is how much credit you have available and how much of that you're utilizing. So a short example would be like, if you have a thousand dollar limit on your credit, our recommendation would be only use about 30% of that continually make your payments on time, but keep those balances 30% or less of whatever your line is. That's one thing we would counsel someone on. As always, the most important thing in building credit is making your payments on time. Always make your payments on time, no matter what. Um, but, does, go ahead. Does your, is there one thing that affects your credit score more than others? Like, I know some people say the history of your credit. Like, if you have one credit card that you've had over, say, 10 years, 
that take precedence over maybe making your payments consistently every month for a year? I mean, are, are there certain criteria with your credit um, that are maybe more important or really affect you getting a loan? Um, the most important thing is, again, making your payments on time. Uh, you know, and establishing credit, a lot of times people are starting out, you know, it takes at least six months to build a credit score. Um, you know, if we have someone that comes in that applies for our, maybe a, a car loan or a mortgage loan and they have zero credit, um, one thing that we will offer sometimes is maybe if they have a, if it's a younger person, maybe they have a parent or someone that can co-sign with them that um, maybe a small credit card, even if it's like a $500 limit, they can use that to purchase gas and, and then just pay it off every month. So, you know, once you get that six month history with an account open, then, and you've made those payments on time, that's gonna slowly build your credit for you. So at the minimum, I would say at least six months. A lot of times, you know, when you're applying for a mortgage loan, a lot of times they want to see a 12 month trade line. Um, you know, I have seen where we could possibly approve someone that had no score if they have 12 months of, let's just say rent payments or 12 months, they've, they've got a cell phone and they've had their payments come out of their account automatically for 12 months. They've never missed any payments. Those are some things, you know, too, that we could technically use if we had someone that had no credit. But you're better off in, you know, using like a small credit card and, and building that credit over time. So that if they they want to um, apply for a home loan, they don't necessarily have to go in and talk to you face to face to get the process started that, you know, maybe you have a website they can go to to fill out a credit app. Yeah, we have um, multiple options of applying for a home loan. You can call in and apply over the phone. You can come in in person. And then we also, if you go to statestreetbank.com, you can apply for a car loan or a mortgage loan or even a credit card over the um, over our website. So that is also available. Perfect. And we, we also have the option of e-sign. So, you know, if you applied for a mortgage loan online, you know, it may be a case that we could do everything through, through e-sign which is basically signing all your disclosures and your loan, doc loan documents um, electronically. So that is available as well. Nice. Okay, well, thanks for joining us today, answering a few questions about credit scores. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you for you. having me.